Okay, so first of all, we need to download the application, the can enable, and the official site is www.oxit.it. And so here we see that the application was updated. The last version, the release, uh, was in 2014, which is like two years ago. Uh, but it still work. It works, and uh, even for Windows 10, which we will and we will see the, how it works in the upcoming videos. So the projects. Let's click on projects, and here we see different applications. And what when we are interested in can enable, which is this one, the first one. Let's click on it. So there are two versions of can enable. First version, this one, is for pre-anti Windows versions, and that one is for Windows NT and higher, which is right to the Windows 10. So, if you are using the version of the Windows, which is pre-anti version, you should download that one. If not, so you should download the second one. What we will do, we will download the second version. It's not the second version, but just the version for NT-based systems. And we'll install it. <coughs> okay, so I downloaded the application. So this is our installation package. So let's double click on it. And here we have the user account control uh, window that uh, inform us that that, that application uh, requires administrative access to be able to run, which is fine. And uh, this is the path of that application, which is okay. So we are aware of that application and we are ready to install it. Let's click OK. Um, and the installation is pretty straightforward. Mm. There is no options. Let's click next here, next here. There is no options here except the destination folder. Uh, and I don't, I don't care about destination folder. Let's leave it the default. Let's click next here and just install it. So everything is fine. Uh, but here, what we have here is the it's like warning. <laughs> It's not really worrying, but there is a component here, which is the wind pickup, and can enable some functionality like sniffer. It requires the wind pickup to be able to uh, capture the packets from the network. And let's speak a little bit about the wind pickup. Okay, so the wind pickup is the framework or tool, but I like framework more, which helps can enable to inject or send and capture network traffic. So basically speaking, uh, the can enable, can enable has some functionality like R poisoning. <coughs> Poisoning, which requires the functionality, the 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 ability to send the R packets to the network, and in that case, the good idea is to use something which is all which already has the send or inject feature implemented. So basically speaking, uh, there is no reason to write the component for traffic injections and capture when we already have WinPCAP libraries and like WinPCAP framework. Uh, and can enable simply use that functionality which is implemented inside of the WinPCAP. There are also other features of the WinPCAP, for example, like uh, remote capture, I'm sorry, remote packet capture, and some applications like Wireshark, 
they use that functionality. So, but for uh, for cane enable, the most important part is the ability to inject and capture traffic, uh, network traffic. Okay, so let's speak a little bit about WinPCAP architecture, and we do not really need to know a lot about WinPCAP uh, when we speak about cane enable, but some basics are good to know here. So the main component of the WinPCAP is the NPF, which is which stands for um, Netgroup Packet Filter. Is the NPF device driver. So NPF driver is the kernel level or kernel mode driver, which basically works with the network card directly with the raw packets and implements the functionality like read the packets or capture the packets from the network and send or inject packets. Then we have a couple of DLLs, WPCAP and packet. And they have, they implement the higher level APIs, which are easy to use from the applications. So basically speaking, we have the application, in our case it's Kane and Able. And the Kane and Able invokes some APIs from these libraries and from WPCAP which invoke, invokes other APIs from packet DLL and then uh, the packet DLL speak with the NPF uh, driver and execute the action. So now we know a little bit more about WinPCAP and why we need it for Kane enable and let's click install here. And in our case here, because we use Windows 10, the version which is included inside of the can enable installation pack is not aware of, so doesn't know about the, Win, uh, the Windows 10. So that's okay, and the solution here is just to uh, connect to the, open the WinPCAP official site, go to the download page, and download the, the ver uh, and download the, the latest version. So, and as you can see here, uh, this version is okay. Uh, we can install it without any problems. Click here, agree for the license terms, and also we can choose to start WinPCAP driver at the boot time um, or manually when you start the can enable. So, in, in case of can enable, there it doesn't really matter because the can enable requires. Uh, administrative privileges to run and it will automatically start a you know, WinPCAP driver. Now let's click click install and finish and we are ready to use Kane enable right now. Let's start the application. Kane we need to be. We need to have local administrative rights by default. This is how it works. This is how Kane works. Let's say OK for USC prompt, um, and you see this um, warning that it should tell us that Windows Firewall is enabled and Kane doesn't like it because it probably will accept some incoming connections, and Windows Firewall can block them. So to fix that problem, we can do the following. Let's open the Windows Firewall, WFMSC uh, application console. And you can disable the firewall for some specific profile. In my case, I have two network cards and one network card is connected to the domain. Uh, which has by default the domain for file and the second network card is connected to the internet uh, and, and doesn't connect to the domain so basically speaking I have two network cards now I will disable the firewall for to vote for both of them okay but Kane it 
it checks that the firewall is disabled but probably you can do the following if you don't want to disable the firewall I didn't test it very well but it should also work you can create the inbound rule for can enable and specify that the connections are allowed and for all profiles and name it king and will be inbound connections okay and the outbound connections are allowed by default so you can go to properties and you can see that the inbound is blocked so we created the cane rule here and the outbound is all of the outbound connections they are allowed by default but we don't want to see that noisy warning so in our case what I will do oh, sorry uh, just disable the firewall for a specific profile and let's try to start it again to run it again and now we don't have any uh, warnings